On the 26th of August 2011, Australian troops and number one squadron, the Special Air Service Regiment, were inserted via helicopter into the Kazuroskan district in central Afghanistan with orders to capture a high value target affiliated to the Taliban. Touching down in their designated landing zone, the Australian SCS troops disembarked from their aircraft and covered the final 400 metres to the target compound on foot, with small scale patrols being pushed out to secure the flanks. Among those covering the left flank was a four-year-old military working dog called Cougar and his accompanying handler, who the Australian Army have since identified as Sergeant J. Shortly after disembarking from the helicopters, Sergeant J released Cougar off his lead to enable the Belgian Malinois to scout ahead and search for any enemy forces, and it was not long before Cougar picked up a scent that led him down through some bushes and into a nearby river. Sergeant J later recounted, I was on the left-hand flank with Cougar. It wasn't really long after we'd inserted, a couple of hundred meters into the patrol, that he gave a strong indication and pushed off into a creek, where I lost sight of him. Once Cougar gave that strong change in behavior, I knew straight away he had detected someone, so I started to push up a little bit faster. As I was closing that gap, I saw him enter the river and start to swim across. As Cougar waded through the river, a lone Taliban insurgent, who was sighted in a dugout on the opposite bank, spotted the Belgian Malinois and opened fire, with at least one of the rounds striking and wounding Cougar. Despite this, Cougar pressed on undeterred, and not only did he reach the other side of the river, but he then proceeded to charge through the tree line, directly towards the insurgent position. On reaching the enemy dugout, Cougar tackled the enemy fighter to the floor and began biting into one of his arms prompting the insurgent to sporadically fire his AK-47 into the air, during which a second bullet struck Cougar. As a result of this second wound, Cougar was forced to loosen his grip on the enemy fighter, who then fired several more times into the Belgian Malinois before retreating from the area. By that time, Sergeant J and several other SAS troopers had closed up to the riverbank from where they got eyes on Cougar, who could be seen lying beside the enemy position, seriously wounded. Sergeant J continues, Cougar was sort of sitting there. I could see his leg was broken, so I called him and tried to coax him across. He moved a little bit and then sat back down. With a little bit more encouragement, he hobbled down on three legs back into the water and then swam back across towards me. In total, Cougar has sustained five bullet wounds. Two in one of his ears, one in his foot, one in the cheek, and the fifth in his chest, which exited out through his shoulder and broke his front left leg. In addition, he had taken multiple pieces of shrapnel into his spine. In spite of the severity of his wounds, Cougar succeeded in crossing the river once more and rejoined the SAS detachment, from where Sergeant J provided immediate first aid to stabilize his injuries. Shortly thereafter, Cougar was loaded onto one of the helicopters and evacuated out from the area, and by the end of the 26th of August 2011, he was undergoing medical treatment in nearby Tarinkot. From here, he'll be transferred to numerous medical facilities in Afghanistan and Germany, before finally returning home to Australia to undergo a rehabilitation program. Sadly, however, and despite the best efforts of countless medical professionals, Cougar's situation failed to improve, and on the 24th of July 2012, he tragically passed away at the age of five years old. The cause of his passing is uncertain, although an Australian army statement outlines that. Although inconclusive, it was believed that his body succumbed to the stress placed upon him due to the injuries he sustained in the incident. Cougar's death is officially recorded as died of wounds. Throughout his four-year service with the Australian Special Air Service Regiment, Cougar proved himself more than capable of carrying out the tasks required of him, and on both occasions that he deployed to Afghanistan, he demonstrated outstanding courage in the face of the enemy. His handler of three years, Sergeant J, reflects that. Cougar was a great dog, there's no doubt about that. He was very much the soldier. He loved being on the job and was always super alert. He would never just relax and chill out. He was definitely a strong-willed dog, but once we started to get a bond and he started to trust that I was going to be there every day, our bond really tightened. Cougar took rounds as part of his job. He was trained to do it, and he certainly didn't shy away from it.